Among dinosaurs, the huge Tyrannosaurus patar hasn't roamed the earth in 70 million years, but the remains of one did get away from its keepers in Mongolia in recent years, and it wound up in New York. CCTV's Suzanne Pratt tells us how this smuggling case was cracked. Meet Tyrannosaurus Batar, or at least some of his scarier parts. He was the star of a repatriation ceremony in New York on Monday, hosted by United States law enforcement officials and the Mongolian government. How did this happen? How did a dinosaur skeleton from the Gobi Desert end up in a New York auction house where it sold for over a million dollars? Well, through theft, fraud, and misrepresentation, that's how. Last year, the U.S. government seized the largely complete 24-foot-long skeleton after a tip from the Mongolian government. As it turns out, Mongolia is a virtual treasure trove of dinosaur bones, one of the world's top spots for its diversity of specimens. That million-dollar price tag, as high as it is, doesn't begin to describe the true value of an ancient artifact that is part of the fabric of a country's natural history and cultural heritage. Priceless. The T. Batar is soon headed home, getting a free flight to Mongolia on Korean air. Once there, he will live at a temporary site until a permanent museum is built. And Mongolia's Minister for Culture says people have already fallen in love with a massive carnivore. After Tarbazar's Batar case started, it was very educational for Mongolian public, and the children love dinosaurs and Parents understand that children love dinosaurs, and also lots of uh, merchandise is coming with dinosaur topic. Turns out the Tyrannosaurus batar has friends, also kidnapped, who will be on their way home to Mongolia in the coming weeks and months. They include a T. batar cousin and 17 other dinosaur fossils and skeletons. Suzanne Pratt, CCTV, New York.